Hi, Angie here from Crafts at Home. Welcome back to this video series where I'm going to be featuring the art of quilting from Hashe Artworks. Hopefully you will have completed up to issue 23 and have everything stored flat ready for joining in later issues. With this issue we'll be making the whirlwind square and you'll be receiving the white on white spot, sky blue spot, blossom and daisy fabrics. Before you begin, iron all of your fabric so it's nice and flat. It'll make it easier to work with and improve the overall finish of your quilt. Let's start marking and cutting. So as you can see, I've marked all of the fabrics ready for the cutting. We've got the sky blue spot with the large J triangles, the white on white spot with the small triangles, and the blossom and the daisy with the sloped rectangle. So now we're going to get on to the cutting. I'm going to start with the white on white spot. It's just a simple case of getting everything up to the edge and trimming. make sure with each time it's a nice long stroke with good pressure don't rush with these just make sure everything is nice and smooth so I'm going to start to put them together As these go the other way, I'll line them up separately. Just make sure you line everything up. I always put the straight edge together as a guide and then trim 90 degrees off the top. Nice sharp edge then. Take the little bits out of the way. And the same with these. So I'm going to go and cut the rest of the fabric. And I'll see you back here soon. So I've now laid everything out as the finished block's going to look. And to start with I'm going to take out the sky blue spots and put them to the side for later. Now I can hear everyone, everyone having a sigh of relief to learn there's no inset seams for this block again. So it's just a nice simple block to put together and it's going to be quite quick. So the first thing we do is we take a white and we fold it in towards the middle. So that one will go across there. Remember which way you folded and that's the edge that needs pinning. So I'm just going to line this up neatly. be able to see when it opens you'll actually be creating a triangle. So I'm going to do the same with this one again. From the point fold into the middle and where you folded is where you're going to be pinning. So we'll just carry on with these. 
If you are by any chance missing your inset seams, you can also follow my other tutorial for some baby blocks, which it's baby name blocks and every one of the seams are inset seams. But it's a really simple, nice way of creating some gorgeous blocks. Again, I'm just pinning that one. And I'm going to do the final one. So again, from the corner to the middle and pin along the edge that you just folded. not quite lined up so I'm just going to take the pin out and readjust that. There we go. There we go. So now I've got those four pinned. I'll see you over at the sewing machine in a moment. So I've got the four pieces here that I need to sew together and we're just going to simply sew a quarter of an inch or a six millimetre seam from this edge along here down and off the edge. So just simply place up to your presser foot and I've got a quarter of an inch mark here at the front and at the back. If you did want to hand sew, you could have a look at this handy quick mini video about hand sewing all of your pieces together. So I'm going to stop just before that first pin and take it out. Carry on to the second pin. I'm going to take that out and sew off the end. I've got about three stitches off the end and then I'll take my next piece and put it in and do exactly the same. Now I've got those four done, I'm just going to snip off my stitch saver and pop it back through. And then snip off my four pieces from behind. And there we go. Now I'll see you over at the ironing board in a moment. So we've now got our four pieces where we've got the white attached to either the blossom or the red to make a larger triangle. 
So we're going to iron these open now, out to the white. Now we're going to place these together to create the middle of the block. Now we're going to start joining these. So I'm going to fold blossom over the red. Match up your centre corners and then pin. Now I'm going to pin with the one seam facing up so when it comes to sewing it I can get it right into the sewing machine so the seam lays nice and flat. And just pin all the way to the end. That's the first one. And then again, fold it over. I'm going to pin that inside corner first. And then pin along the edge. So I'm just going to go and sew these two seams. So I've gone along those two seams now. I'm just going to iron open towards the blossom. So we'll just open that up nicely with the iron. So if we put them back together, now the next two we want to do is this middle seam. So because we've gone over to the blossom on each side, we've got a nice nesting seam in the middle. So you just want to match that up really tightly in the middle. And if you want to check, pinch about 5mm down each side. And just open up and as you open up you'll be able to see if you've got any gaps or if it's over folded which it isn't so I'm just going to pop a pin in each side as it's quite a thick seam and then pin down the rest of the way. So that's now going to be sewn and I'll see you back in a moment. 
so now we've got the final seam of the centerpiece sewn. The first thing we're going to double check is that we have got our seams nesting really nicely in the middle. The next thing is that you've got all of your seams running the right way so they're nice and flat. So we're actually going to iron this middle piece open. So as usual, just make sure you've got your fabric nice and flat on the bottom. Tease the seam open with your fingers and then with the toe of the iron just go in and iron everything open. Just have a look to double check that you haven't upset any of the flat seams as you've gone along. And there we go, that is the middle section ready. Now we want the four blue triangles now to set on the sides. And I'm only going to bring two in to start with. And you want to place them on opposite sides. Then fold them in. If you do one at a time. I like to make sure that it's nice and even and that the point which will go over the centre slightly is in the middle of the blossom and when you turn it over if you pop a few pins in just make sure that you've got that middle seam that you've just opened nice and flat as well. Your blue is working on a bias edge as well as your white and your yellow so just be careful that you don't pull it out of proportion at all. And just pin along the length. Now I'm just going to turn that over and check. Now that's still looking really nice. So onto the second side. You want to do exactly the same with this one. If you want to marry it up nicely, you can just push that back. I'm just going to stick a pin down into my ironing board just to keep that open. So just make sure it matches at each side and looks right in the middle. I'll take that pin out now. And then take out to each side. Again, you've got this open seam here that we've just done. So I'm just going to go either side just to pin it open nicely. And turn it over and double check everything is still lying really neatly in the middle and I'm now going to pop off and do these two seams I'll be back in a moment so now we've got our two opposite blue with white spot triangles on we're going to iron them open towards the blue So you've got a nice tight seam. So now our next stage is going to be adding the other two triangles on. So again, exactly the same as what we did before. Match them up. 
flip it over being careful not to stretch and if you've got it spot on then your little notches that are taken out of your blue will match the lines as they come down here from your blue sky spot so just turn it over match the centre and then out to eat at each edge again you are working with bias edges here so just be careful that you don't stretch any of the fabric out of shape go and that's pointing into the middle nicely. I'm going to do exactly the same here again. There we go. So just be careful now when you're going down these seams that you make sure all of your seams are lying flat. And I'll see you back here soon. So now we've gone across these last two seams. We're just going to iron those open as well. So again, you iron open towards the blue. Turn around and do the other side. And there we go. You'll notice that the edges are quite neat. And that is our finished William Square. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and the Whirlwind Square block that we've created. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified of our new videos. Further information about Crafts at Home, the Crafts at Home Forum, the Art of Quilting and Hache Artworks can be found on the social media pages which are listed in the description. Don't forget to join us next week for issue 25, where we'll be making the windblown square block. Bye for now.